kusimulia in the real life na kwambia stress go me pitia hell ko na pitia ma best ya ko na pitia where is the dead body the washing machine in the kitchen seven c c c homeboy homeboy Put in, put in work, put in work, put in work, huh? Put in, put in work, huh? Put in work, huh? Put in, put in work, huh? Where's our coffee? It should be here waiting for us. It's coming right up. Cigarettes, please. Cigarettes? I'm sorry, Mr. Joseph. We don't have any smokers in the house. And how is that my problem, eh? Unless you want me to leave. No. Oh, no, Fiona can rush and get you some cigarettes. Fiona, can you go get Mr. Joseph some cigarettes? Step into the trap. I don't mind a little girl. Tell him step into the trap. I got this, I got that. When you step into the trap, find this keeper on the dad. Tell him step into the trap. Put in, put in, put in. This. This brings back memories. Here we go again. Will you put a happy? Nigel, did I ever tell you that I was in a band? Yes, Dad, repeatedly. We used to call ourselves the Flute Quartet. Flute. <laughs> the year is 1992, Hotel Taj Mahal, Arabic Nights. Uh -huh. I used to play the flute. Uh -huh. <laughs> we used to get down all night long. All night long. Yeah. What? Do you still play this? Yeah, actually, yeah. I, I was working on a tune called Throw Me Away. Oh, really? Is that a new... Throw me awake, you teenagers. You see, songs. Madam Inspector, we are all gathered here because it's um, it's Mr. Taylor's birthday, surprise birthday. <laughs> no, it's not. No, I, 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 I didn't know about the surprise party. <laughs> How sweet. Detective Amanda, in my office now. And you, you still here? Um, you're late. What are you looking at? When I say you are late, you are late. Yes, of course, sir. I apologize. Where are we with the missing girls case? I'm still following up leads. I got the help of a former investigative journalist. And we have a possible suspect. Really? So, we leave police work to civilians these days, huh? Is that new age police work? But, sir, she's the... Ah! Give me more bad news. I want good news. Okay. Get back to work. Go. Yes, dear. I told you we don't have enough money to do that estate yet. Yes. Yes. But honey, don't you trust me to protect our family? Y yes. No, dear. No, you don't have to involve our parents. Yes. Okay, well. Okay. But honey, Hello? Ah! I promise to nurture your dreams because <laughs> to, to them my soul shines. I promise to help shoulder our challenges for there is nothing we cannot face if we stand together. I promised. I, I, I promise to be faithful to you. <laughs> for you are the love of my life. From this day forward, for better and for worse, for richer and for poorer, sickness and in health to love and to cherish till death do us part 
according to God's holy ordinance. This I pledge to you. Those, those were the vows I swore to you on a wedding day. Uh, have a seat. So let me do the introduction. This is Nadine. Nadine, this is my brother Josh. Hi, Josh. My name is Josh. I'm 29 years old. I am mentally retarded and that under disability since 12, 12, 1980. Eight, uh, 1984. <laughs> That's what he always says. <laughs> Josh, how are you doing? I've heard so much about you. <laughs> I'm a firm believer in the age old maxim that familiarity breeds content. That is why I don't get over familiar with my employees, both at home and at work. I have seen many of my friends succumb to the wives of the women employees, and that is why I keep my relationship strictly professional. And that is the secret to a successfully employer-employee relationship.